In 1987, when he was still not holding any public position, Congressman Alfilor improved the irrigation dam at Barangay Igbak, Buhi, that is further constructed when he was governor. This year, also at Barangay Igbak, he replaced the damaged footbridge that was built during his brother's term as congressman. Flood is also one of his district's problems, and so he is acting on it. To prevent Lake Bato from overflowing and cause flood during typhoons, Congressman Alfilor is having a flood wall constructed which he started in 2007. The next phase of the flood wall will have an initial budget of 75 million pesos. Congressman Alfilor knows that road networks are also a major problem in his district as it does not have much links to other nearby provinces. And so he built several major road networks. Another road network which we are now completing is the San Fernando Bypass Road. Mm -hmm. That is the road uh, uh, near the near the west, western portion of our province, facing the China Sea. Uh, yun ang, from Libun Albay, papunta ko yun dito sa Bato, Bato, Bato. That's a town in my, in my district, in the province of Camarnesor. Then it passes through uh, Nabwa, that's another town in my district. And then to Bula, and then to San Fernando, mm -hmm. passing through Minalabak. That's on the other district, the second district of Kamarasso. Yun ang road network, there is a, a budget of 300 million, don, 300 million, which is an asphalt overlay covering about 13 kilometers. One part of the San Fernando Bypass Road, which has a length of 4.5 kilometers, leads to Libon Albay, while the other 8.4 kilometer portion of the road stretches from Topas to Palsong Bula Camarines Sur. This year, he also had the 1 kilometer Iriga to Baa Road asphalted and riprap with a budget of 10 million pesos. Aside from major roads, Congressman Alfilor also constructed a bridge connecting Iriga to Albay. As part of Tulayna Pangulo program, Congressman Nansing Alfilor pushes for the completion of this bridge which was built in 2008. It connects San Antonio Iriga to Pulangi, Albay. Congressman Alfilor has constructed numerous major roads, but the road that he's most proud of is the 65-kilometer Governor Alfilor Senior Highway. Yung major achievement ko ano yung itong Governor Felix to Alfilor Highway because kung tinan mo yung namin, yung road network I mean, we have only one road main road mm. network that is the road network that comes from Sosogon, then to Albay, Camarines Sur. We call it the Maharlik Highway. So uh, there are many parts of our of our province that are not road. So I thought of the Governor Felix Alflor Highway. Oh. That is a uh, that's a 65-kilometer road network, which uh, uh, passes through uh, four, uh, four uh, congressional districts and two provinces. I thought of a road network that would start from Manawan, that's in uh, second district of Camarines Sur, that had to the city namin, because to Sabuhi, which is still part of my district, and then to uh, Pulangi, that's part of uh, the third district of Albay, and then Derecho Osano, passing through Tobacco to Malinao. Uh, the, that's already in Albay. So it covered uh, district number three and uh, district one. With the Governor Alfilor Senior Highway, traveling from Iriga to Albay now only takes an hour and the 4th District is now connected to the other districts of Camarines Sur and nearby provinces. From 2001 to 2009, Congressman Alfilor has implemented different projects in his district amounting to millions of pesos and with a total of over 2 billion pesos. With his rice assistance program, Congressman Alfilor was able to give a total of 2,003 sacks of rice to his constituents from 2007 to 2009. And to solve the water problem in some areas in his district, Congressman Alfilor distributed jetmatic water pumps for his water system project, which he started in 2006. So far, a total of 191 units of jetmatic pump was distributed all over his district. Congressman Alfilor may be bringing substantial improvement, but he does not just think about his district. 
as he shares the improvement all over Camarines Sur because he believes that it is better that the whole province will improve rather than just the Rinconada area alone. Yung view ko kasi, I, I was thinking that I could not just limit it to my district because I, I don't think you, you can develop the district separate and, uh, from the other districts. You have to combine it. You have to combine it because, because ano, yung development must be of the whole province and not of the mere district alone. And I don't think you can develop the, the district without taking into consideration the development of the adjoining areas also.